Only masters can get up here. <laughs> very calm at the moment. It's very smooth. It's very smooth. <laughs> <laughs> it's, whoa! <laughs> so we want to think, is there the blue Yitzi here? The official fight. Yeah. So you don't have to destroy. Ah, uh, here we go. Did not know that. Boof, boof. <laughs> Come back, have you? Oh, okay. Let me just drink my drink. And hello there, and welcome back again to King of Try. Always trying it, and we are going to be trying out Aerial Ace today. And as you can see, we're going right in. Well, I'm going to call this Clan Wars in the, in the description of the video. But yeah, you know what it is, guys. You know what it is. So this is going to be more of me a reaction video because. Obviously, I was at work, so what this means is it's awkward to do both things at once. I've had to do certain things to the sound, so you don't hear certain things in the background. It's been rather difficult, but, um, you know, for you guys, I'm always going to try it. All right, so obviously, you've got two choices of drones here. You've got the seagull in wind and you the golden lion. I thought to myself, golden lion's rubbish, so here we go. Yeah. Right, let's go, let's go. Wow. <laughs> already here we go already down so as you can see there some of this shot is dope like it this is this dope and you don't lose a, a kill as well so if you kill yourself by self destruct if you're nearly dead you don't give them a kill therefore you know you get fresh health and everything it's like a, a, a forced respawn it feels like cheating almost so it's really really effective the the the, the small worm self destruction has also a small hitbox as well more effective in the air and, and less harder easier to hit um the healing one for tactical and healing stuff like that but yeah this is this is crazy this is freaking crazy oh all right so i'm just trying it out it's like yeah i'm gonna get behind this box and shoot then i try to shoot the blue and stuff i had to get it but to get those items you gotta do is go next to it that's just restocking the ammo when you run out if you do well enough to stay alive long enough then you start to run out of bullets but uh, yeah this is this is really really cool man Wow, there's a video I'm getting shot from everywhere, everywhere, and then the movement isn't even that flexible. Do you mean you can't barrel roll or anything? This isn't Star Fox. <laughs> so, I mean, there's a lot of skills all around as well. And I think I'll do another video as well on like what all these, each of these different balloons are doing. But um, yeah, this is just like my first time playing. So yeah, take him, Dad. He was nothing. He wasn't trying. He was trying it, man. He was trying it. Alright, so I try to go up high above because you know their spawn points like mid range. I also tried to hit the balloons again and that just didn't work. But yeah, they just saw me like nothing and just took me down. It also seems like if you get killed from high, there's a very, very long respawn. So if you go up really high, it gets me. And then look at that, I respawned to death there. So I think there's a lag as well. Because there you go, because I didn't even touch the floor that time and I came straight back to life. Because when you're back, yeah, you get like an invincibility period, but that invincibility period is pointless if you're still loading back in. Like now, I should be already back alive. You see what I mean? So now I want to come back and I'm going to be half dead. Oh, I'm not because they've ignored me. But there you go, you see. So that's the thing about it. If you haven't got good internet, that's kind of what can happen to you, which isn't very nice. But it is what it is. So then there's me there trying to quit there because I'm just like, I'm getting destroyed. And then I try a technique, I try to get low, but like, okay, maybe just get really low, because if I die on the bottom, then I respawn quicker as well. So you can see that I'm stealthing it now, and I'm just shooting it from the bar, and I'm not having any issues. But as a healing drone, I should be supporting the team. There you go, self-destruct being raw again there. <laughs> self-destruct is dirty in this. The self-destruct drones are dirty. Honestly, it's ridiculous. All right, so, well, oh, oh, I see it got taken down again. <laughs> It's a really, really cool mode there. It's a really, really cool. All right, so yeah, so we're taking that. We're trying to come back, but um, it's not looking too good. I am doing this. This is my solo run as well. This isn't a a cooperative one. So the next one, because I've got two of these set up, you see me working with the actual clan doing a different one. Trying to just pull them in, which is difficult. Again, whilst I'm at work. But, uh, yeah, at this point, I think I just give up. I'm just like, it's it's too much of a victory. These guys are just self-destructing. I think he did miss me there with his hitbox. I keep trying to hit the balloons. I still haven't figured out that I have to go up to it. <laughs> I think I do now because I realize I saw the thing. I saw the, the yeah, so I try to get it. 
but it's pointless. So yeah, that's my first my first game. Alright, so this is me just going, ah. really, there's less people as well and we still lost. But to be honest, what you don't see there is as well is that if there's two people, there's less people to kill than us. And if they, you know, if they're not playing rubbish, they can actually use it as an advantage. It's like one person in GoldenEye or any first person shooting game going after three people. Unless they completely tactically lock him in and lock their respawn points and stuff like that, that one person can actually beat him because there's more of him to kill than there is the opposite time. Anyways, so now we're going for the Golden Lion, I believe, this time. Are we or are we not? I don't even remember now. Do I go for the Seagull again? Or do I go for the gold line? Oh, so this is what I remember I'm doing here. So I'm basically watching my opponent, seeing what they pick, and then basically being tactical with that. But this time I go with the golden line. And as you see here, I do a lot better. Like the first person goes down in seconds. The fire rate on the golden line is ridiculous. My man obviously self destructs on one guy over there. I tried to save mine because I'm trying to look for a point where they're all together. And I'm good. Also, I haven't used self destruct before, so. When you use self-destruct, it's weird because you move faster and you still need to control it. Like if you don't get close to them in the time it blows up and stuff like that, then it's waste. But look at that, I'm just I'm annihilating people. Absolutely destroying. Like, I'm not even here to play games anymore. I'm here to just let people know. As you can see now, I've obviously learned how to use this. Oh, I haven't? Okay. So we're just trying to get this green chip, so I think I'll showcase one of the abilities here. I don't know what it said there, I need to watch my video again, I don't even know what that said. But basically I picked up some, but I think it's just the energy restore thing of the second version, because I think I've already used the self-destruct in this match, which I didn't even notice. But yeah, like there's a lot of key rooms going on, they're just getting annihilated because the fire rate on it's not as good, it's not as effective, there's a lot of things wrong with it. A lot, a lot of things wrong with it. But yeah, <laughs> it's, I'm just having fun now. I'm just taking out everybody. I'm trying to get behind the lines. Obviously, I've got my guys backing me up in areas whilst I'm doing a distraction. And then, yeah, I take out quite a few people before they take me out. As you can see, it's it's, it's still kind of equal though. It's like 14, 15, 12. It's not too bad. They can easily come back. So it's not over. It's not over at all. But um, a lot of people in this do avoid the power-ups in the sky. The, the power-ups in the sky are quite good because one of them is actually invincibility. And using that world time is really great. Like you can just turn that on whenever you want to. So it's definitely worth getting the billions. You just gotta spend some time or shoot whilst getting them. Or when they're passing, you know when they're coming from below, get them whilst they're coming up. Because then you're not wasting any time at all there. I should have self-destructed there. I definitely should have self-destructed there. That when you get a poor respawn like that, it's deep because you see, the invisibility is a lot less longer and you can shoot a lot quicker or a lot longer before your invisibility drops down there. But uh, yeah, I feel, like I feel like I'm fighting this by myself, like I'm just taking on the army myself. Oh, okay, so it looks like self destruct can also take out a friendly because <laughs> I, I don't think I was nearly dead there at all. Look at that, I'm gonna take out two people now. It's not an oh. I think I ran out of ammo there. Yeah, I ran out. I needed to reload. But yeah, this mode is cool. You gotta definitely come check this out. Like, it's only on the weekends. Um, it's definitely worth it. Can I get that? Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Get it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. So this is the invincibility one. This is what it looks like. So there you go now. When you go gold like that, as normal, you know, you can't be hit. Or the official time. fight. Uh, so you don't you have go. to destroy one. All right, here we go. Did not know that. Boof, boof. <laughs> you come back, have you? Oh, okay. Let me just drink my drink. One first infected boss. So let's see how we do. Like, obviously, I should be completely overloaded for this, but we'll still see. We'll go check it out. We'll go to Shark Garden, get that cheeky experience. We'll take it like a hundred in the time. Obviously, we haven't got there. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't mind, look on the top right where the eye thing is and have a look at the polls and maybe select what video would be great for you. 
or maybe check out the two videos on the side here in front of you now. If you want more raids, go to the left. If you want more action in general, just go to the right and enjoy your dope and life tactic day. And remember, this is King of Trying It, and don't forget to try it.